Hey there, you're tuned in to MEA Worldwide. I'm your host, Elena Jordan, and today I'm so excited to be sitting here with Jennifer Berman, who's on Listing Impossible, the new show on CNBC. Now, you, of course, have been working in realty for years and years and years. This show, though, is unique because yes. this is targeted to a very specific market the uber rich so the uber wealthy the Elena. Uber wealthy so yeah. what makes this show so different and what are some of the elements with uh selling set clientele that make it a little bit more entertaining, entertaining. Than... Elena, this is a completely different real estate show um as you just said because we're dealing with like the uber high net worth individual okay we're dealing with high net worth individuals as well, but it's a luxury show. Mm -hmm. So we go after homes that the top agents in the area have not been able to sell. So if the home's been on the market through three different agents or two different agents, they've heard everything. The homes have already been staged. They've beaten up everybody. So, you know, in our industry, if we list a home and we don't sell it, we could be out $50,000 and get beat up the whole time by our clients and then the home doesn't sell and they go use another agent. That's the way that the ball rolls. So if you're going to be in the high-end luxury market as us as real estate agents or brokers, you better put your big girl panties on because you have to know going in how to deal with the clients. So the show's different because we're going to go in with these sellers that have beaten up everybody and they're stuck in their mind about price and they can't get out of it. So there's a psychological thing that they're stuck in with the house, which is completely different than other markets. We have to come in with the hard, cold facts. We're not here to do the warm and fuzzies. We're not here to be nice and make friends with you do you want to get your home sold then this is what needs to be done and this is how we're going to do it in our team with the amazing Aaron Kerman one of the top agents in the United States of America he comes in and says the hard words that nobody else can say that's what I really really love watching all of the promos for the show too is that Aaron and the whole team just pull yeah. no punches what have you uh, discovered in this process having already had such experience but now having the experience of it being on television and having these homeowners maybe having the, the mirror held up to them uh, in this regard. Do you feel that that has kind of led you to approach things differently or have you learned anything from this show that you weren't expecting? A little bit. I mean, when they say there's no crying in real estate, ha ha, yes there is. So now we're gonna be able to see that with our, our sellers. We're gonna be able to see what's going on. I think, you know, when we're, what I've learned from this, when we're behind closed doors, those conversations can get very heated. Mm. And there can be a lot of, uh, it, it's when I say getting beaten up, I'm not kidding, okay? You have to realize the clientele that we're dealing with in the high end. Okay, th this isn't like the subservient little employee that's sitting back and being like, oh my God, Elena, you're so brilliant and so smart. What a great idea. If only we would have done that to sell the home last time. Yeah, no, it doesn't really work that way. <laughs> I would like to give that script to my clients and say, here, this is what you should say to us because we're warm and fuzzy and wonderful people. But no, they do not. So I think it's it's been a learning lesson to also watch on the show how we have to sit back breathe zen and then you have to like really be honest and deliver the words that they don't want to hear and if you want to fire me for being honest do it because if you want to get your home sold I'm sorry you know the definition of insanity if it didn't work once is crazy thing is to keep doing the same thing over and over expecting a different result and that's not how you're gonna get your home sold so Part of what makes this show, too, the listing impossible, there are these seemingly impossible listings that you're having to go in and find a new approach. This, though, is what sets you apart, I think, from so many other people is that you have this fearlessness and you're not afraid to say things even to, you know, these uber wealthy, these what are some people see as, you know, not wanting to offend not wanting to, to bristle up against. You have this fearlessness. Yeah. Do you think that part of that comes from all of the struggles that you have endured and survived in your own life? You're, you're a cancer survivor, you've yeah. been fighting you know, your whole life. So do you feel that that in your personal life and all of your experience has led you to be this fearless person in your business? Elena, that's such a great question because, and actually you're making me kind of think more of that right now because I didn't really think of that much. You know, I've, I've been in this industry for decades and dealing with 
the hard sellers and dealing with um, hard questions. It's like going in, why don't you try and tell a seller that you're going to see on one of the episodes that him and his wife that passed away, this was the home that she built of her dream home and the way she decorated it. You want to go in and tell this man that it's the love of his life that lost all he sees is her throughout the house that we have to change everything? And you've already spent money like on different staging and doing things and now you need to spend more and we're going to change it upside down? So I think with having cancer and having life experiences, what this has taught me is we have a limited time on this planet and if you really need to make a change and make a difference, Unfortunately, we're going to have to do things that we may not have wanted to do a year ago. We may not have the next year to have that opportunity. Mm -hmm. And that doesn't just mean with the market, that also means with your life. So how much stress and how much pressure do you want to put on yourself to keep going through the problems and the stress and the pain and the hardship of trying to let go of your biggest asset that you've probably ever done in your entire life. So yes, this has changed the way I do business. Now you also are such an inspiration. You go all over the world yeah. to talking to thousands of people, inspired not only about buying and selling homes, but also just life, life. lessons. Uh, what do you feel are some of the most valuable lessons that have been imparted to you that you feel that you always want to share whenever you're given these opportunities to speak to these large groups of people? Never hang up the phone mad with somebody that you really love. And when I hang up the phone now, if I haven't talked to you in a while or whatever it is, I'm going to tell you that I love you. And there's a lot of times whenever we get in a heated fight or we get into something, I'm not going to leave that way because what if you never see me again? And this just recently happened to me. One of my very best friends in the entire world, um, his name is Dean Poole, we had been struggling with cancer together. He's huge in the real estate industry and within 25 days he died. Mm -hmm. And everything, all of his vitals, everything were absolutely perfect 30 days prior. And I saw him last year and I didn't take the time to go back out and see him. And it's, we never know what's going on in somebody's life. So here's the lesson learned, whether it's a divorce, whether you've filed a bankruptcy, whether you have cancer, your child could have died. That's a difficult one. So when you see somebody responding in an aggressive manner towards you, that may not be because they're just the a-hole in the room. There could be so many different layers that are going on in somebody's life you've got no idea about. One of the lessons I learned when I talk to people across the world is also when you go into a restaurant and the waitress is just like, you know, rude or something, stop, slow down, man. How do you not know if she's a mother, a single mother of three, she got cheated on, could have been through domestic violence, I don't know, got in a car accident that morning, you have no idea what that person is going through. For your $5 tip, you can be a little nicer, slow your roll, and let's just try and come with gratitude and love towards everyone we come across. Pretty simple in my opinion, Elena. I love that philosophy. And with that, I love I you, that is, oh, I love you. I love you. <laughs> Say it. Share it. Love it. Uh, and I know everyone is going to love this series as yeah. well. So tell us a little bit about Listing Impossible and some of the uh, the more unique moments that people may see wow. on the show. And, you know, and then you have to realize we have a large cast, which is completely different. And so we're on a very diverse cast with our personalities and who we are. And which makes it so much fun. <laughs> and then, you know, you can, it, it's funny with Aaron, um, I've, I've watched him grow in his career, it, you know, into the man that he is, which has been an, a great honor and a privilege to be a part of that and watch him. And it's like, I can see him with some of our newer agents. He's got to be like, okay, breathe. I'm going to stop. <laughs> I'm going to think before I react to you. Um, have you ever seen Men, Men in the Hall where I squeeze your hand, I squeeze your hand. I can see him doing that in his mind where they automatically combust, but he holds his breath, he stops, he counts to 10, and then we're going to go in and educate you, agent, or seller. So I think it's, it's just fun to really watch how we go in and say the hard things you're not going to hear other real estate agents say, because guess what, guys? We, it, it, we're here to sell your home. 
We're not here to make friends with you. And I know that sounds bad, but it's like you've already been beaten up so many times. I've got to redo your house and redo all the stuff in the marketing and everything you've spent so much time and effort mm -hmm. on. It was wrong. We're going to come in and fix it. So you know what? You may hate me today, but I'm going to get you your dollar at the end of the day. And that's what we do on Listing Impossible. Oh, I love that. You're like, you can hate me, but you'll love the money. So you're welcome. There you go. <laughs> Pretty much. What are some of the more unique things too that you've seen in some of these homes, either on the show or just in your career that have made you go, what? <laughs> well, our, our show home that was premiered, as a matter of fact, the box on the beach. I can't tell you how many times I have picked up dog droppings, let's say. Um, I've had to make beds. I've had to be the maid. I've had to do so many different things in there. And it's it's like you have to go in and you have to see this gorgeous home and the gorgeous way things were decorated, but it was all wrong in order to sell a house. And so just kind of going in and like really transforming some of these homes that we're doing, that is outside the box because you have to make it look where a buyer can come in and, and visualize for themselves what they want that's inviting. And I think one thing has tripped me out, like we, I, we had one buyer, Chinese buyer that came in and this is a brand new home that we sold. And you're talking like a $15 million home that nobody lived in. And the buyer comes in and she says, nope, I'm gonna spend a million dollars to rip out the entire kitchen. I thought it was a joke. I'm like, but nobody's lived in this. It's been staged. A million dollars to rip out something brand new? Oh no, that's where we get with a lot of our foreign buyers that come in and do that. So it's always eye opening. I don't care how long I've been in this industry. I don't care how many $300 million homes I've been in. Those things that people say to me are still going to be like, okay, all right. <laughs> we'll put that in the contract then. I love to that this show is showing, you know, the glitz and the yeah. glamour and then the behind the scenes, the the actual dog dropping, the, the not so glamorous elements. Uh, but just so excited to watch all of it. So where can everybody check out Listing Impossible and where can they keep up with you? CNBC on every Wednesday night. We have eight episodes that started on January 15th. So it is uh, out on 7 p.m. on Pacific Time, 10 p.m. on Eastern Time. And then for me um, on Instagram, I'm Jennifer Berman Host. And on Facebook, Jennifer Berman Plus Real Estate. And you'll find me there. Would love to stay connected with everyone. I do answer all of my calls, my emails and direct Aww. messages. So that's what puts the fire in my belly. And that's what I love to do is to talk to networking and clients. Oh, well, thank you so much. We love talking to you. So thank you for coming <laughs> and talking with us. Thanks, Elena. <laughs> Such a pleasure. Okay, and you can check out all of our interviews too at MEA Worldwide. That's MEAWW.com. Until next time, I'm Elena Jordan. Have a good day.